Welcome back to Method Cooking. Today's video, short and sweet, spaghetti squash. A lot of people get intimidated because they don't really know what to do with it. It's super easy. Take a sharp knife, we're gonna cut it right in half. Once it's cut in half, we're gonna either use like a ice cream scoop or a big spoon just to get those seeds out. We'll drop those right on the cutting board. Now that I've got it split, all the seeds pulled out, I've got the oven preset to 375. I'm just going to take a little bit of oil, splash it over a pan, put a few tablespoons and probably a few teaspoons inside the spaghetti squash, you know, swirl it around, and then just a heavy pinch of salt and put that cut side down. Uh, we're going to go into the oven probably 20-25 minutes. Uh, check it. To check it, we're just going to pierce the outside with a knife and if it goes through nice and smooth then we know it's ready to go. So with the spaghetti squash at 375 for about 30, 35 minutes. Get that pulled out of the oven. You can see the outside is kind of like a roasted yellow look. And then with a paring knife, I'm just gonna go on the side. And with how easily that knife goes in and out, I know it's done. Uh, before trying to deal with it, I'm gonna tilt it on its side. And that's gonna let it start to cool down a little bit. And then once it cools down, we're just gonna use a, uh, a big spoon to get all the, uh, the spaghetti scooped out. So after about 30, 35 minutes in the oven, the uh, squash is fully cooked. So even using a fork, you can see how easy it is to peel that uh, spaghetti squash, I guess, meat away from the outside. So we're gonna get that all shredded, pulled out, and into a bowl. So we're gonna get all the squash pulled out to the bowl. It's really easy, you just kinda run the fork around the inside to get off all those little pieces. Once we get it all scooped out, from that point you can either cool it down or start mixing in whether it's like an Alfredo or even like a butter, oil, and a little bit of garlic. It's pretty universal. So we're going to get the rest of this scooped into the bowl. And again, from there, any number of like seasonings or flavors you want to add. Uh, obviously, it's called spaghetti squash for a reason. You can see kind of like the different strands. It's a, uh, a low-carb, very healthy way to incorporate vegetables into your diet. And with the spaghetti squash all cleaned out and dropped in a bowl, now's the perfect time to either chill it, mix it with like Alfredo and chicken, uh, you can do like olive oil, garlic, and a little bit of shrimp to make like a shrimp scampi. Essentially any place you'd use spaghetti, use a squash instead. It's a low carb and a great way to incorporate more like fruits and vegetables into your diet. So, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.